Hey, what is up my friends? Welcome back to another Very High GTA 5 mod video on the Epic Games version. Today we're going to be learning how to install the Okutama track and before we get into the details of the tutorial, I just thought I'd do a nice little demonstration and a cruise through of this map. If you want to learn how to install it, watch this video towards the end of the demonstration and we'll get all into the nitty gritty on how to install this using Open 4. Also, it has a cool little mini map feature as you saw at the beginning of this video. And don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you guys have recommendations for any mods you want to see in the future on this channel, just go ahead and drop it down in the comment section. And thank you for watching another very high GTA 5 video. Enjoy. I tried. <laughs> I am not a drift racer, obviously, but my drift video did pretty good, so I thought I'd make a video on how to install a drift racing map, and uh, as you can see, I need all the practice I can get. Jesus. Hey look, it even leaves you a little car here that you can probably take out on this course if you don't already have a drift vehicle. But uh, that's about it for this uh, video guys. If you want to know how to install that, it'll be at the end of the video. Go ahead and uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with a friend who might be looking for a map. And if you got any questions or requests for GTA 5 mods, go ahead and leave it down in the comment section. And uh, you know, if I can't help you out, maybe someone else can. <clears throat> Until the next time dudes. Follow that tutorial and uh, have fun. Hey, how's it going? I'm your boy, Very High, and I hope you liked that little demonstration. Here's the part of the video where we learn how to install this sweet drift map by Kapauka. It is the Okutama FZC, and it works in both 5M and single player, and it comes with a mini map option. Today, we're going to be learning how to install it for single player. So the first two things you're going to need for this are the file of the mod itself link in the description also you're going to need open for link for that also in the description i've gone ahead and downloaded those files needed for this mod and i fired up open for and first things first in open for we're going to click edit mode and click on our mods folder once we're inside there we're going to click on update x64 dlc packs now, going over to our zip archive with the map, uh, you'll see in the zip archive are actually 5M and single player. Since we're installing this for single player, we'll click on single player, mods, update, x64, DLC packs, and this is the folder that we will have to drag into open four on our left here. So let's select the folder and just drag it right on over just like that. 
Now, if we go back to the documentation here on the web page, it asks us to add a line to our DLC list. So let's do that. Back in Open 4, we're going to click on our mods folder again. Go to Update, Update RPF, Common, Data. Scroll on down to DLC list. Give it a right click and select the enter uh select the edit button once we've got our text editor open we're going to scroll on down to the bottom of our list here and just go to the last item on the list and go towards the end of that line and hit enter now um, <clears throat> i've got some uh, text document here that's got the uh, line we're supposed to add so we're just going to highlight this here dlc packs copy that this is also in the description of the video dlc packs uh okutama fzc and what we'll simply do is just type in item here just like you see in the top line and then we'll paste and then we'll close it out all right that should be all that we have to do to get that into the game now the next step this is optional and you don't have to do this but for the sake of technology and education we're going to go back into the single player and install the mini map now you should always back up your files guys no matter what uh, for this purpose, I will be backing up the mini map file that I'm about to override but For the sake of this video. This is how you would do that So going back to the directions on the website It says to install the mini map on single player Copy the x64 e.rpf to your mods folder. So let's go ahead and do that All right, so on our left here in this menu tree we can find our x64 e and once we select that we're going to see this beautiful bright red danger red sign that says copy to your mods folder so we'll do that Okay, that did take a little bit of time, but the process is complete. And if you can see up here in this address bar, we are inside of the mods folder inside of the X64 E RPF. So if you go back to these directions here on the website, it says that we have to copy that to the mods folder. We did, and we have to place mini map from the zip archive into the mods X six E RPF. Uh, go into the levels folder, which I'm doing here now in open four and then it says go into the GTA 5 folder and place the minimap File into minimap RPF so we'll click on minimap RPF and take a look inside of our zip archive here now it says uh, minimap ydd let's go ahead and find minimap underscore underscore uh, underscore one underscore two dot ydd on this list so minimap underscore one underscore two dot ydd is right here inside of open four we're going to right click that and i'm going to extract it to a folder on my computer just in case i need to get the original fire back uh, file back um, later so I have a file a folder here that I save everything I'm going to select that folder and it will extract that file that I need to back up to that folder so now what I'm gonna do is take my mini map underscore one underscore two dot ydd file and I'm gonna drag it right over here and just like that it should have replaced the file that I just backed up uh, mini map underscore one underscore two dot ydd as far as i understand that is all that is required to install this mod i hope it helps you out and if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them down in the the comment section 
And if I can't help you, maybe someone from the community will. I'm your boy, Very High, and I'm very tired. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.